they Coventry surely knocked any lingering title ambitions out of them on Tuesday. Number nine, Peter Unlove, had a field day. One of the many old sayings about Anfield is all you get there is a cup of tea and a good hiding, while Unlove got a hat-trick instead. Mike Marsh, a born and bred Liverpool old boy, managed to coax the first of two penalties out of referee Mike Reid, well positioned to make the sort of call that there'll always be arguments about. David James, dashing from his line, seemed to get his fingertips on the ball, but the momentum of his dive meant his left arm swept Marsh off his feet, and with ten minutes of the first half still remaining, Unlove had a chance to make it 2-0. Roy Evans has admitted he made a bid for him last summer, but Coventry have a new manager and maybe a new sense of ambition now. Liverpool's ambitions on the night were revived 13 minutes from the end. Mark Walters, on as a substitute, eventually spotted Robbie Farrer at the far post, and the ref spotted Brian Borrows tugging him back. Mike Reid was in no doubts about what he'd seen. Nice, clear signals. But once again, the slow motion replay is as clear as mud and leaves you wondering just who was pulling who. Jan Morby back after another frustrating injury made it 2-1. But if Liverpool weren't quite finished, well, then neither was Unlove. The rarity of a misplaced Morby pass was a thing that ushered him forward to bob and weave his way to the pick of his three goals. The first hat-trick at Anfield by a visiting player since Terry Alcock in 1962. That wasn't quite the end of the night's entertainment, although David Burrows, making a winning return to Anfield, probably wishes it had been. But his late own goal couldn't save Liverpool or halt Ron Atkinson's six-game unbeaten start or take the spotlight away from Peter Unlock. Now, you've done very well since Ron arrived. That's six games unbeaten under him and nine games altogether. Do you really feel you're going to be in the Premiership next season? Well, we hope so. Obviously, we take a, each game as it comes. We've just won this. We're looking forward for Saturday. And since his arrival, it's just every player's confidence just gone up. Peter and Love is